A Magic School Bus by Joanna Cole and Bruce Dagan. Inside the human body. Here we go. The Magic School Bus. To Craig from Joanna and Bruce. Aww. We're gonna learn about ourselves. They should interest you, Arnold. My favorite herbivore. My favorite carnivore. I can't take the pressure. My favorite omnivore. It all began when Miss Frizzle showed our class a film strip about the human body. We knew trouble was about to start because we knew Miss Frizzle was the strangest teacher in the school. Look at Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle Frizzle. A film strip is only the beginning, you know? Yeah, I bet she has books about this too. When's recess? Your wonderful body. Mmm. Your body is made of cells by Rachel. Your body seems to be all one piece, but actually it is made of trillions of tiny pieces called cells. My body is made of trillions of cells. So is mine, no. The very next day, the frizz made us do an experiment on our bodies, on our own bodies. See your own cells? Most cells are so small that we can't see them without a microscope. Gently scrape inside of cheek with toothpick. Step two, stir end of toothpick and drop of water on a slide. Add a drop of iodine solution to color cells. Look at slide under microscope to see your cells. Ew, weird, weird. Then she announced that we were going on a class trip to the science museum. We were going to see an exhibit about how our bodies get energy from the food we eat. Your cells need energy to help you grow, move, talk, think, and play. Jail cell. Just being in Miss Frizzle's class takes all my energy. Brain cells help you think. Different kinds of cells have different jobs. Lung cells help you breathe. Muscle cells help you move. Your mouth has thousands of taste buds by Arnold. Different parts of the mouth have taste buds that are best at detecting different flavors. New research shows that the taste buds are arranged like this. Bitter, sour, salt, sweet. Did you know the middle of your tongue has no taste buds? The trip started out like any other trip. We rode to the museum in the old school bus. Along the way, we stopped at a park for lunch. Leftover fish sticks, eek. I'll trade you these terrific fish sticks for that horrible peanut butter and banana sandwich. Forget it, man. Take a look at her shoes, please, I'm eating. When it was time to go, everyone got back on the bus. Everyone but Arnold. He was still at the picnic table, daydreaming and eating a bag of cheesy wheezes. When you eat, your body digests the food so your cells can use it to make energy. Your body needs good food by Carmen. For high energy and good growing power, eat lots and lots of whole grain bread, cereal and pasta, fresh fruits and vegetables. Eat a smaller amount of milk and milk products and not too much junk food. Eat less meat, poultry, eggs, fish and fats. <coughs> Go vegan. Oh, science word by Dorothy Ann. Digestion comes from a word that means to divide. When food is digested, it is divided into smaller and smaller parts. Ooh, how fascinating. Hurry up, Arnold, called Miss Frizzle. She reached for the ignition key, but instead she puts the strange little button nearby. Arnold's really out to lunch. At once, we started shrinking and spinning through the air. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. From inside, we couldn't see what was happening. All we knew was that we landed suddenly. Gulp! Hey, where's the bus? Uh. And then we were going down a dark tunnel. We had no idea where we were, but as usual, Miss Frizzle knew. She said we were inside a human body, going down the esophagus, the tube that leads from the throat to the stomach. Most of us were too upset about leaving Arnold behind to pay much attention. Where's Arnold? He got left. That's what happens when you eat junk food. I thought we were going to the museum. There's been a 
slight change of plans, we're being digested instead. Food goes to your stomach through the esophagus by Wanda. The food does not just fall down, it is pushed along by muscle actions the way toothpaste is squeezed out of a tube. That's why you can swallow even when you are upside down. Muscles squeeze to push food to your stomach. Why does your stomach growl by Phil? Sometimes your stomach churns when there is not much food in it. Then the gases in your stomach make a gurgling sound. Your stomach is like a built-in food processor. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. We are now passing into the stomach, said Miss Frizzle. It wasn't quiet in there. The walls of the stomach moved in and out, churning and mashing the food into a thick liquid. The bus was turning round and round, and digestive juice splashed the windows. Now we knew how it felt to be a hamburger. Roll up your windows, children. Yuck. Class, the bus is following the path of the food molecules into the blood. You mean... This body thinks we're food? That's better than being waste. Yeah, it's so gross. I wish Arnold were here to see this. Another science word by Dorothy Ann. Blood vessels are tubes that carry blood. They are like pipelines running through your body. What is blood made out of by Molly? A little more than half the blood is yellowish fluid called plasma. The rest of the blood is made of floating cells. Plasma, blood cells. Why is blood red? Without a microscope, blood looks red because there are so many red blood cells in it. In every drop of blood, there are 250 million red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen, food molecules. Did you see that? White blood cells destroy disease germs. Now we were in the blood, but it did not look red. Blood is not just a red liquid, explained Ms. Rizzo. Blood is made of cells floating in a clear fluid. Those cells look like rubber, Red rubber saucers, someone called out. Those are red blood cells, Miss Frizzle said. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to all the cells of the body. Here and there, a white blood cell was busy destroying disease germs. White blood cells are like soldiers protecting your body from enemies, said Miss Frizzle. The white blood cell ate the germ. That's disgusting. Platelet cells help stop bleeding when you get a cut. Disease germs. What is blood for by Ralph? Your blood is like a delivery service. It carries food and oxygen to your body's cells and waste products away from the cells. That white blood cell must think the school bus is a germ. Well, the bus is pretty dirty. Looking back, we saw a white blood cell chasing the bus. We'll be safer with the red blood cells, kids, said Miss Frizzle. She reached for the handle that controlled the bus's doors. Don't do it, we cried. But when did Miss Fizzle ever listen? The doors of the bus flew open. We were swept out of the bus and into the bloodstream. Everybody hitch a ride, called the Frizz. Each kid grabbed a red blood cell as it went by. Our last glimpse of the bus was when it went into another blood vessel, with the white blood cell right behind it. Why can't we just have spelling tests like other kids? We'll never get out of here now. These red blood cells have turned dull red. They need more oxygen. Meanwhile, oh my gosh, I'm lost. Don't panic. Your heart is a pump by Flory. When the walls of the heart chamber squeeze together, they pump out blood. Just the way you can squeeze water out of a plastic squeeze bottle. Oops. Hey. Right lung, left lung, heart. Your heart pumps use blood into the lungs to get fresh oxygen. Have a heart, Miss Frizzle. Get us out of here. Use blood from lower body, second chamber. Use blood from upper body to the right lung. The next thing we knew, we had flowed into the heart. Inside the heart are four hollow spaces called chambers. Each chamber is a little pump. The two chambers on the right side of the heart took in used blood from the body and pumped it to the lungs. In the lungs, the red cells picked up fresh oxygen. We get new oxygen from the air we breathe in. We get rid of waste gas, carbon dioxide, each time we breathe out. Air sac, new oxygen, carbon dioxide, left lung. My heart is pounding. Take a deep breath. You'll be okay. Blood goes round and round. What comes around goes around. In less than a minute, your blood makes a trip all around your body. This is called the circulation of blood. One more science word by Dorothy Ann. Circulate comes from a word that means to circle. Blood circulates circles all around your body. From the lungs, our red blood cells carried us back to the heart. This time we were on the left side of the heart, the side that pumps fresh blood back to the body again. Kids, it looks as if these red blood cells are on their way to the brain, said Miss Frizzle. Look, when the red blood cells pick up oxygen, they turn bright red. Class, those brain cells need more oxygen. We'll never get home unless we find the bus. Fresh blood to the upper body from left lung. 
third chamber, fourth chamber, and fresh from blood to the lower body. We'll never get home unless we find the bus. Maybe we'll find it in the brain. Which way back to school? Use the brain! Your brain is always working, but Alex, even when you're sleeping, your brain controls your heartbeat, breathing, and other body function. Your brain never lies down on the job. Cerebral cortex controls thinking, moving, and five senses. Children, we are walking on the cerebral cortex, the pinkish gray outer layer of the brain. Without it, we wouldn't see, hear, smell, touch, taste, talk, move, or think. Speech center, heart center, hearing center, my bad. Motor centers and touch centers. When we reach the brain, we let go of our red blood cells and squeeze out of the blood vessel. It was hard to believe that this wrinkled gray blob was the control center of the body. Miss Frizzle said, The brain is made of billions of busy nerve cells. They are constantly sending and receiving messages from the eyes, ears, muscles, and other parts of the body. Do you think we'll be smarter after this? I hope so, Vision Center. Cerebellum helps you keep your balance, helps muscles work together. Brain stem controls body functions like heartbeat and breathing. Where's the bus? Let's see, Miss Frizzle was driving that way to the museum, so our school must be this way. Good thinking. If you want to move a muscle by Amanda Jane, the motor area in the cortex of your brain sends out a message to move. The message travels down the spinal cord and through the nerves that control the muscles. Motor area. Hey, that tickles spinal cord nerves and muscles. We left the head by climbing down the bones of the spine. Inside the bones was the spinal cord, a thick bundle of nerve cells stretching from the brain. Smaller bundles of nerve cells branched out from each side of the spinal cord. These carried nerve messages to all parts of the body. The spinal cord connects the brain with the nerves that go to your body. Spinal cord. Don't look down. I think I'm losing my nerve. Nerve bundle. We followed some nerves that went to the leg muscles. The leg muscles were working hard. They needed a lot of energy. They used up a lot of food and oxygen from the blood. The heart was beating faster to carry fresh blood to the muscle cells. Children, we are sliding on a muscle. From here, we'll return to the bloodstream. Muscle fiber nerve ending. I wonder where Arnold is now. I have the strangest feeling he's close by blood vessel muscles move your bones by Tim some muscles are attached to bones when the muscles contract get shorter they pull on the bones that makes the bone move and then you move I'll get there sooner if I run pant pant the more active you are the faster your heart beats thump 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 we enter a nearby blood vessel the blood was moving so fast we were afraid we would lose each other but at the moment the school bus floated by what a relief we jumped on and went up through the heart and lungs again just the way we went before class we're on the way out of the body relax we're going back now i can't relax as long as i see red blood cells outside the window when we emerged in the bloodstream we were in a huge open space where are we? asked the kid. Miss Frizzle explained. Children, this is the navel cavity. The what? We asked inside of the nose, said the frizz. Suddenly, we heard a deafening noise. It sounded like, oh, 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 we're in a nose. This time she's gone too far. I'm so grossed out. I think I'm going to sneeze. Use your hanky. Then we heard, chew. Class, the sound you hear is a sneeze. Anything in the nose can make you sneeze. It could be a bit of dirt or dust or some bacteria. In this case, it happens to be a school bus. What makes you sneeze by Phoebe? If something is tickling the inside of your nose, the tickling signals your brain. The brain makes you take an extra big breath. That's when you say, oh. Then your brain makes your chest muscles squeeze your lungs. Air rushes out at a speed of up to 100 miles per hour. That's when you say, chew. Then we heard, chew. A tremendous blast of air hit the bus full force. We flew forward, spinning around and round. Children, prepare for landing. Please remain seated until the school bus has come to a complete stop. Is she for real? Achoo! The zoom tights. We're back. Look around. Hey, there's Arnold. Thud. We were going so fast we couldn't see anything, but we could tell we were getting bigger. Then thud, we landed. There we were, back at school, and there was Arnold in the school parking lot, blowing his nose. Arnold, we said, the trip was amazing. You should have been there. Where were you? Back in the classroom, it was business as usual. Miss Frizzle made us draw a chart of the human body for the bulletin board. The kidneys clean your blood and make urine. The bladder stores urine. The liver stores vitamins and destroys poisons. It also makes bile a fluid that helps digest fatty foods. Brain, spine, esophagus, nose, windpipe, lungs, liver, gallbladder, blood vessel, nerve, heart, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, muscle, bone. Can we slip these kidney 
Yes, in behind the intestines. Kidneys, liver, I guess we didn't have time to go there. Thank goodness. What a trip. I'd like to go to the lungs again. I'd rather go to Hawaii. <laughs> hey. At last, everything was quiet in Miss Frizzle's class. Everything, of course, except her dress. My favorite organ, the full stomach. The nose. It's a front runner. Red blood cells are cute. I love my ears. Keep them clean, my lungs. Don't give her any ideas. She must buy her clothes in outer space. Here's some questions. True or false test? Stop, take the test. Do not watch TV yet. Do not get a snack yet. Do not play a video game yet. First, take this test. How to? Read the sentences below. Decide if each one is true or false. To see if you are correct, check the answers on the opposite page. 1. A school bus can enter someone's body and kids can go on a tour. True or false? 2. Museums are boring. True or false? 3. Arnold should not have tried to get back to school by himself. True or false? 4. Children cannot breathe or talk when they are surrounded by a liquid. True or false? If the children really were as small as cells, we couldn't see them without a microscope. True or false? White blood cells actually chase and destroy disease germs. True or false? Miss Frizzle really knew where Arnold was the whole time. True or false? Answers. False. That could not happen in real life, not even to Arnold, but in this story, the author had to make it happen. Otherwise, the book would not have been about a trip to a museum instead of a trip through the body. Two. False. Museums are interesting and fun, but they are not as weird and gross as actually going inside the, a human body. Three. True. In real life, it would have been safer if Arnold had found a police officer to help. Four. True. If children were really inside a blood vessel, they would drown. It must have been magic. Five. True. The pictures in this book show the cells in the children greatly enlarged. Six. True. And unbelievable is the same as unbelievable as it seems. Real white blood cells actually behave just like the ones in this book. They even squeeze through the cells of the blood vessel walls to capture germs in your organs and tissues. Seven. Probably true. No one is absolutely sure, but people think Miss Frizzle knows everything. Please do not write in this book. Thank you.